So now let's see how we can use arrow inside of Snagit editor. In order to use arrow, just go over here onto the top and choose arrow. And then on the right side, you can see that you can select from different arrow styles that you want to use. So let's say, for example, I use this red style right here. Just click and drag and you can draw an arrow right here. You can go around here. There's like a dotted arrow right here. And there's like a two sided a dotted arrow right here. Plus, you can choose out other colors as well and change out the theme for a different set of arrow just like this. So let's go back to basic right here onto our arrow. So what you can do with your arrow is change the color right over here just like this. You can change out a different color. You can change out the shadow right over here and change the shadow color as well just like this. So let's say for example you have a red shadow. You can see right here that there's a red shadow over here. So let me just zoom in right here and see how that looks like. You can see right here it looks like a red shadow. Then you can go around here, choose the ending right here. You can make it another arrow or you can make it a square or something like this. You can go around over here and change the type of the dot that you want to use. You can change the size as well. Let's say, for example, if you say 20, just like that, you change the size. You can change the opacity right here as well. So similarly, you can go around change the start size if you have a different arrow on the end and the end size if you have the end just like that. You can also enable Bezier curve right over here, just like this, so that you can bend them out, just like that, as you can see. So you can go around here, you can see that you can click and drag this around right over here, just like this. And then what happens is that there's a Bezier curve. So you want something like this, you can see that you can create a Bezier curve just like this. So let's just go over here again. Here's another one. Click again and you have the option to bend this around just like that as you can see right there. So these are the options that are provided to you for the arrow just like that. And you can see that it has been added over here as well. So let's just go over here and choose out different colors just like that. And the other options uh, are just these just like that. So there are different options as you can see. You can also go around and choose an existing arrow and of course change its properties and add in a Bezier curve if you want as well just like that. And work around with this just like that by using these handles right here which appears just like that. And that is how you can work around with arrows inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.